Hello, my name is James Ripley and I'm a support engineer here at Ingersoll RAN. Proper maintenance of air tools is important to ensure maximum performance and prevent costly downtime and repairs. This video will demonstrate how to manually lubricate the impact mechanism of a pneumatic impact wrench. Alternate method using the grease fittings will be covered in a separate video demonstration. Ingersoll RAN recommends greasing the impact mechanism every 48 hours of tool runtime. If this is exceeded, you may hear excessive noise from the mechanism during use which can lead to decreased performance and damage to the mechanism. We will be using an Ingersoll RAN 2235 TI Max in this demonstration, but the procedure applies to nearly all Ingersoll RAN pneumatic impacts. The first step is to remove the hammer case bolts. On our composite housing impacts like this 2235, the bolts run through the housing from the rear of the tool, while on most of our metal housing impacts, the hammer case bolts are accessed from the front of the tool. Set the tool on its back and using one finger to hold the anvil in place, lift the hammer case off the tool like this. Make note of the gasket position and orientation. The anvil can be rotated and lifted out of the hammer frame. Next, the hammers can be removed from the hammer frame by removing the hammer pins and sliding the hammers from the frame. Make note of the location and orientation of all these parts for reassembly. Using a clean rag, wipe all grease from the hammers, anvil, hammer frame, hammer case, and bushing. Apply a light coating of grease to the hammers and hammer frame and reassemble with the hammers in their original position. Apply grease liberally to the anvil lugs and apply grease to the portion of the anvil that rides in the bushing. Reinstall the anvil into the hammer frame and reinstall the hammer case, noting the position and orientation of the gasket. Carefully torque the hammer case bolts in a cross pattern starting on the bottom and torque to spec. Wipe any excess grease from the outside of the tool, verify that the anvil rotates freely, and your Ingersoll Rand impact is now lubricated and ready for another 48 hours of use.